Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geekabird. I am Penjan. Welcome to Cliff Empire. So Cliff Empire is a post-apocalyptic city building game, but with two major differences over other post-apocalyptic city building games. The first is that the buildings that you get to build in Cliff Empire, even though it's post-apocalyptic, are not all kind of ramshackle affairs that are cobbled together out of old bits of wood and metal you found on the back of the sofa and all that kind of stuff. No, no, they're all really nice buildings. They're futuristic buildings because the game is set in the future. They're all lovely. They've got lighting and heating and elevators, lifts. I don't know. They've even got automatic doors, if you can imagine that. Doors open when you go near them. I know crazy stuff in the future. So yes, that makes quite a change from most of the post-apocalyptic survival-y kind of building, base building sort of games. And the second major difference is that you are building on top of these three things here. These are the cliffs, which are mentioned in the name of the game. And these three things here are where we're going to be building three individual cities. So we're going to be building them on top, literally slap bang on the top of these. So space is very limited and it's not like we can just go, yeah, OK, I'm just going to do uh, do this or build over here, build a big thing, build another big thing. Yeah, I'll zone that. There's loads of room because there isn't. The uh, room on the top of these three things is relatively prohibited. Now, I know what some of you are probably thinking. Some of you are thinking, hang on, why are we building on top of these three weird cliff things that are sticking out of a mountaintop? It's a very good question. There is a story in the game, and the story, loosely, is thus. Big nuclear war happened. Nuclear war left nuclear fog lying around the surface of Earth. But some clever people, who kind of suspected there might be a nuclear war, which resulted in nuclear fog, built these things, these big cliffs, these big sticky out tower things, that rise above the nuclear fog, which I you know, I'm probably still wouldn't be too happy about having a load of nuclear fog down below me, but whatever, they rise above the nuclear fog, and they've gone to space, so the uh, the survivors are in space of the nuclear war. They're in a space station with spaceships, and the plan is they want to go back down to Earth, so we are going to colonise the tops of these three cliffs. And that is the premise of the game. I mean, I quite like it. I quite like the idea that, you know, we're desperate. Humanity was desperate to do something, so these things were constructed to at least give us a chance of retaking Earth which I quite like. That's a very good idea. It's on Steam right now. I believe it is in early access and I got a key for this game from the developers. So let's go and have a look, shall we? Let's just dive straight in and start a new game. And this is what the game looks like. So right here is the top of one of those three cliffs. And as you can see, it's divided into little sort of sectors, squares and rectangles primarily. And into these, into each one of these, we can build a thing. But as you can see, these big ones here, so these bigger rectangles, I think there's only possibly three of those, maybe that's one as well, four of those on this particular tower here. So we have to be very choosy. We can't just go, yeah, build whatever we like, because then we might realise that we've run out of tiles to actually build something really, really, really useful. So, uh, yeah, we have to be a little bit circumspect in what we're building and kind of plan a little bit ahead, which, of course, will go absolutely swimmingly with me in charge. So, yeah, you can build on all these different things. These ones are special. I don't quite know why yet. Uh, these, I don't know what the orange ones are. The blue ones are special tiles that I believe connect to the other towers because now we have to choose where we want to build because there are three of the um, towers. I shouldn't call them towers. I should call them cliffs to keep in keeping with the game. This is Central Cliff, and each of these has a set of statistics. So there's plenty of groundwater here, 80%, so we could grow some crops on the top of here. Not a lot of sunshine. Wind is kind of out in the middle. And there are some fish. Are there fish? Are there actual fish in here? There are fish! Oh, that's good. I didn't realise there were actually fish in the thing. Oh, that's lovely. So that's quite good. So that's Central Cliff. Now over this way is Cliff of Winds. Now as you can see, this is windier. It must be higher up. So it's, it's, you know, slightly more vaulted into the skies. Windiness is 120% here. Now that does have a bearing if you want to build a, um, a wind farm. But of course sunshine here is 10%. Even though we're higher up, we must be under a cloudy bit or something. I don't know. The difference of sunshine between here and here is quite radical, given that they can't be that far apart. But okay, that's fine. So sunshine here is 10%. Groundwater is 20%. There's no fish. So this place does not look great for getting water out of, or indeed fish for eating. So this might, given that windiness is 120% and you can connect all the cities together, this might end up being some sort of power generating kind of area with just loads of wind turbines and stuff. And then it'll get its food in from other places. The third tower, sorry, cliff, is the Western Expanses. Okay, that's also got fish. It's got 100% groundwater, 60% sunshine, wind again, 50% down the middle and 70% of fish. 
But I think it's probably a good idea to have fish. Now, there is a fish icon down here. So presumably we can fish that. Oh, I wonder if that's what they are, because they're next to the water. I wonder if they're specific fishing spots to access the fish in that big lake pool thing of a bob. So do we want to build in the western expanses or central cliff? Well, let's have a look. 80, 30, 50, 60. And the one over here, 80, 30, 50, 60. Okay, western expanses is better in all aspects. It's got more groundwater. It's got uh, more sunshine. Oh, well, okay. It's equally, equally as windy and it's got more fish. So let's build over here. Now, I have played this a tiny bit. I had, I had, um, I had different cliffs when I played the previous version. I just played it for maybe five minutes just to get used to how it worked and to see if it recorded properly and stuff like that. So the first thing it wants us to do is to build a storage. You can click this for help, which is jolly exciting. So yes, we have a storage area. So at the minute, nobody lives here. There's no population. There's no places to live. Nobody wants to come here because there's nothing to do and there's nowhere to work. This is our prestige down here. This is the time of day. We can put taxes on people, but obviously there's no one here. And our funds are up here. And I can't remember exactly what the currency is, but it's like cryptocurrency or something. It's very, very cool. It's kind of got a good name to it. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is build a storage. So instead of having a build menu at the bottom and you pick a thing and then place it, you actually click on the tile you would like to build on, say that one, and then you get to build a thing upon it that is relevant to that size. So, yes, again, this one's quite a lot of little squares. Quite a lot of those little squares. Not many of those big, the big rectangular ones. So it's got one, two, three of those, has it? So, yeah, we have to be careful what we place into those big rectangular squares because we don't want to do ourselves out of anything. But the uh, store thing is kind of the middle. It's kind of the, the hub of everything. That's where all the uh, goods go and all the building materials. So let's put it in the middle. And I think it's that one. Storage. There we go. So it costs five matter and it's going to cost us 300 there you go cryptocurrency sounds tremendous four places of work and it consumes a kilowatt okay start construction Ooh, right this thing is pre-done it's a sort of prefabricated thing that this very very funky looking spaceship is going to drop into place for us yes okay so here we go that drops in our uh, storage area straight into place oh that's tremendous look at it it's a proper spaceship a big spaceship so that goes back up to the um the space station orbit i think they call it and that's where the people live that's where all the people are at the minute but they want to come down here so that gives us we can twist it round it's very very lovely that gives us a little sort of uh, well essentially like a storage yard it's got some food i assume if you click on it ah right okay yeah i didn't do this before so i've got 120 matter which i think is a generic kind of building material 80 water 80 grain no fish, 20 uranium, be careful with that. Uh, what's that? 49 battery, okay. And no engine, appliances, furniture, gadgets, or garbage. Oh, no garbage is quite good. Can we not just garbage, uh, jettison the garbage back into space? Send it back up into space, please. And we have three of these little things that are going to help us. So these are like automated drone things that can dash about and help us. So we do have a tutorial thing going on. So we'll try and get through that as quick as we can. It might be that this first video is going through the tutorial. So there we go. We get 500 crypto coins, whatever they would be. And now we have to put a landing platform and a house. So the landing platforms are where people are actually going to arrive. And the landing platforms go onto these blue bits. So we can either build it just here, sticking out over there. But then people have to walk down this fairly precarious bit here. Or we can build it here or here. Now these two bits also, if we build one of the, if we build the landing platform here... This will have to be a bridge, because I believe on the other side of here, pretty much correspondingly, is there. Look, the other side of a bridge would fit just here. That's how you connect your cliffs up. So yeah, that's very, very cool. So I think we'll build it here. So let's build a landing platform. It's that one. It looks very, very cool. It looks tremendous. And then we get to build a house. If I go into this and just show you... Uh, it says you need to build two house buildings or one medium residence. And this is where you get your nice choices, which I do quite like. We can either build two of these houses on a smaller square, or we can build a slightly bigger building, a residence, on a small rectangular square, or we can build a complex on a bigger square, so a 4x4. Four four. No, not 4x4, four 2x2 four, two two square. So it depends what we want to do. So yeah, we can either build one of those, or two of those, for 13... Uh, 30 sorry 30 tenants or we could build a bigger one for 55 tenants that's quite big or we could build a sort of middle-sized one on one of those 
thin bits. There's not many of those around, is there? There's not many of the of those sort of things there. Uh, one of those for 25 tenants. Okay. Okay. Well, there's quite a lot, by the look of it, of these little... The little sort of the, the single squares. So why don't we build two individual homes in those? Look, there's a massive row of them down here. Let's build it on the edge. They can have a nice view of over there. That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? So let's build one just there and one next door. Why not? There we go. So there are two of those. So they'll work on the landing platform. They will work on the two houses. Uh, one thing I didn't check, actually, is space pause. No, space is not pause. Oh, dear. And look, look how good that looks. It's sticking out over the side. It's a landing pad thing. So it's out of the way of everybody. It sits there. I mean, it looks a little bit dangerous to me. Looks a tiny bit dangerous, but okie doke, that's fine. And then they're building these two houses here. So there is a time shift thing. So it goes one, three, or six speed. But um, space does not pause, I don't believe. Now, there is a pause button in the corner. I don't need to pause it right now. Imagine, does that take us back to the menu? Yeah, that takes us back to the menu. That is absolutely fine. Okay, we've done one of the houses. This house is underway. It needs one thing dropped in. And there we go. So there's no actual build time in terms of when the resources are delivered. As soon as all the resources are delivered to a building, it's then constructed and you can get on with it. Right, take my reward. There's an awful lot of reward money coming out. It's tremendous. Settle some people. Okay, on the orbit, which is the space station, volunteers are signing up to settle in the city. I don't know if I call it a city. It's, uh, it's currently a kind of builder's yard and two houses, which are slightly precariously on the edge of a cliff. I mean, there's no guardrails or anything. People are going to fall off. Don't let your kids outside. The speed of the set is affected by the indicator prestige. My prestige is 15. It's just here. If the number of volunteers exceeds 25, they are sent down to Earth. If the prestige is negative, settlers gonna, like the casualness, settlers gonna leave the city in groups of 25 people. Yes, what's gonna happen? Settlers are going to leave the city in groups of 25. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Groups of 25 people. If you've got 125 people, 25 of them go. That's quite a chunk of your populace gone there. So now we've got 30 places for people to live and 19 people, 20 people up on the space station are looking down here going, yeah, this looks like the place to live. I mean, the space station must be flipping terrible if they want to come down here. You do realize I'm in charge as well, don't you? It's me. Right, it's getting up. 23. Come on, let's be Tom a little bit. 24 and 25. Okay, so people should come and land. Now, I don't do anything with this, do I? I just, I just watch this guy. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. Whoa! <laughs> You're a bit unsteady, my good man. You're a bit wobbly. No, he, no, you've got it bang in the middle. I thought you were going to plummet off the side there. Yeah, maybe we don't take drunk pilots this time. Maybe we don't take drunk pilots. Um, oh, look. Hang on. Are they actually inside? Oh, we didn't realise they were inside. So here we go. Yeah, so bear in mind that this is kind of in early access. This is not the finished product. But the people coming out, I don't think, are kind of the end result. Because they're little sort of two-dimensional sprite kind of things. They're not really animated. They're just moving along. Although they could, in theory, be stood on like a moving floor. Like you get at an airport. You know, like an escalator, but that's flat. They had lots of those in Las Vegas. So yeah, maybe they've got them here in the future. So yeah, all those people are going to poodle about. I don't quite know where they'll go. I imagine they'll go over here and materialise into their houses over here. So that's good. Get the reward. Thank you very much. Next thing. A percentage of energy is required. Now, this is about to where I got to when I played before. So from now on, it's all learning and it's all going to be fairly new. So percentage energy required. We have 100% down here. I think it's telling us to get to 250% energy. Let's just have a quick look at that. So, um, yeah, build a wind generator or solar panels. Okay, well, I think a uh, wind generator or a solar panel, we're going to go for sunshine and get ourselves a solar panel. Oh, that thing's taking off. The thing is taking off. Drunk pilots heading back up into space. Godspeed, my good man. Do not crash into the space station. That would be bad. That would be catastrophic. We've only got 27 people down here. No, no. 25 people down here in order to repopulate everybody. All the humans. That would be bad. Okay, over here then, we're going to build a solar panel. I think we put... The plan would be make this bit kind of nice. Make this bit with all the residential zones and parks and nice stuff and maybe, you know, jobs and stuff around here. Because you have they, people do work. There, there are offices, I believe, and things like that and places to work. So they could that could be all over here. And kind of industry stuff could be over here. So power generation and whatever else there is. Water gathering, I don't know, and fishing and all that kind of stuff. So let's click on this tile. 
Let's build ourselves a great big solar power station. Why not? Let's put one of those together and see what that does. Do you know what? To make sure we've got loads of power, I'm building two. I am going crazy daisy. Let's build two of those. Right. Speed time on. Speed time on even more. Because this might take a little while to complete, I'd imagine. I think doing this is going to take a little while. Um, yeah. Okay, they're putting them in, though. I like the fact that... Do you know what I do like? I like the fact they seem to have their own individual kind of build things. I mean, yeah, that's just raising out the ground, but that's fine. Right, we've got all that energy. That is lovely. What's next? Build a battery station and charge some batteries. Okay, a battery station. Oh, it's a small thing. When the power supply exceeds 100%. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> maybe two is a bit excessive. Maybe two solar panels was slightly too much, but a battery would be useful, obviously, because at night time, we're going to have no power from those. So a battery is going to be very helpful. So, um, okay, we need a battery. We can charge it up at the battery station. When the building is built, you can click on it and see the charging process. In the future, you can either fully engage in charging the batteries and sell them, or compensate the shortage of generators by purchasing batteries. Okay, well, I'd rather have lots of those. There's a little tiny space there. Uh, was it that? Yeah, okay. Well, that's good. Let's do that. That's got seven work employment spots as well, so that's pretty good going. Eight workplaces. That'll go up. That's quite good. Let's hurry things along a little bit. Come on. Bop. Drop all the things in. Yeah, I like the fact they've got their own... Oh, there you go. Didn't even get to see that one. Okay, and I mean, it's got to... It's getting to night time, so we're not going to get much out of the uh, out of the batteries. Um, into the batteries, sorry. Out of the solar panels, but never mind. Okay. So, yeah, we might have to wait for daytime, I suspect. I do quite like the um, six-speed the six speed sort of uh, time accelerator thing. Now, what's that do? Shift. What does that do? Oh, my goodness. It's like some sort of... <laughs> oh, my God. It's like some sort of holy light from up above. Uh, okay, I can sort of see the use of that a bit, but it's a bit too bright, isn't it? Okay, well, let's turn that off. I don't particularly need that. Uh, okay, and we've charged, we've charged the batteries. Splendid. Okay, get my reward. Now it's on to water. So we're just kind of covering all the basics, I think. Water extraction is one of those. That's fine. And that thing in the corner is flicking on and off absolutely crazily. What is that doing? Um, so water is one of the most important resources of the city. Yes, I kind of get that. Water is quite important in real life as well as this game. Uh, it's extracted by the water extraction station. It's used for both human consumption, yep, thank you very much, and for growing food. Well, I never. The presence of groundwater depends on the characteristics of the cliff. Ah, okay. So because I've got 100% groundwater, we might get quite a bit of water out of there. Um, okay. Well, if it's water and it's a, needs, a thing that needs to be stored, why don't we put it near here, near the storage area? Because that will help, I would have expected. Which one is it? That kind of thing. I don't know what the different colours mean. Green is some sort of... Is maybe residential. Because that's got houses in and parks. This is possibly life support. Because that's water. I don't know what that is. I'm not entirely sure what that thing is. What are these things? A university and a court. Okay, so they're kind of social functions, if you like. Blue, I think... Yeah, there's a blue one on one of the small tiles. That's an office building. So blue is employment. And grey is... I don't know what grey is. Sort of utilities, recycling, and that's a bridge. I don't really know. I'm sure it'll tell me later on. Right, start construction of a water extraction station. Just there, please. And then extract some water. Okay, so they've done it. Now we just need to extract some water. And because I've got 100% groundwater, it's presumably going this quick. I would guess if the groundwater was 50%, this production would be going half as fast. That's what I would guess. Okay, we've done that. So we've got water extraction, so we can now provide our people with water, which is probably a very good thing. Right, get a reward. What's next? Build crop fields and harvest some crops. Okie doke. To get food, you need crop fields. For the current task, four small fields or one large is required. Open crop fields are more effective on cliffs with fertile ground. They do not require energy to maintain the climate. Indoor crop fields do not depend on the soil's fecundity. Ooh, the word fecundity. <laughs> That's fancy. But consume energy. Okay, now what is the fertility? Oh, it's question marks. Um, okay, I don't really know what to do with that then. Do we plant one of those? Do you know what? Let's just risk it. Let's go for it. Maybe by doing that, we find out if it's fertile and we can... I think you can destroy buildings anyway, can't you? I think there is a... Yeah, there's a demolish building button. So if this goes all wrong, we'll just knock it down and put one of the uh, 
indoor sort of covered crop fields in. But for now, let's have an open crop field and hope that the soil fertility is quite good. So eight water, four grain and 200 cryptocurrency. Do that, please. Right, speed time on. In the meantime, am I allowed to build other things? So like, could I build another house for people to live in? Another little place for people to live? And then another one next to it, perhaps? Like that? In fact, no, we could build a park. Why don't we do that tile just there? Put that there, look. And then why don't we put a park in the middle? A small garden decorates the area. It's got a giant stone horse in the middle. That's cool. I want that. Yes, please. And then some more people might live here. Some more people might come in. I would have thought. Yes, there we go. New citizens are arriving on the wibbly wobbly plane. <laughs> there we go. Um, okay. Now, hang on. I've, I've been. I've not been concentrating on the fields. So, large open crop field generated sixteen. Did it? Sixteen grain. I think that's what it means. I think this is what resources it takes, and that's what it produces. I think, maybe, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. If I'm honest, you might have got that from my dithering. Uh, yeah, I think that's the resource it needs. That's what it produced. So each field, each little field, each square field there would have produced four food. Build a matter mine and extract some matter. Ah, yes. Now matter was this kind of generic building resource. We've only got 55 of it left. So it might make sense, yes, to get some more. Can be obtained from mines that extract a universal matter. Extraction rate depends on cliffs deposits. Now again, we don't know what the deposits are on this cliff. I don't know how we found out. And we haven't discovered the fertility either. Okay, whatever. Let's build it just here. Uh, that looks like a factory. That's a uranium mine. Is that a mine? That's a matter mine. Yeah, okay. Splendid. Ooh. Minus five ecology. That's probably bad. That's probably a bad thing, right? Is that a bad thing? Does it tell me about ecology in here? No. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to assume that's not good. I'm going to assume that people don't like the ecology being damaged, given that we've obliterated the earth. Kind of want to keep it nice and safe, not destroy it again. But okay, are they building that? Yep, so that's done. Now they need to extract matter. Okay, that's going up fairly quick. So I'm going to assume that our matter deposits in the western expanse, uh, western expanse sorry, are very good. Because we've got three... It's going to clock up to six fairly quickly, one would have thought. Yep, on five. And coming up to the last one, six and splendid. Okay, so now we're generating our own matter. So we're generating our own matter. We've got water. We've got food. Uh, we've got batteries, so we've got power. Uranium we don't have. I imagine that's not going to be a popular thing to build. Fish we don't have. Now, I might be jumping the gun here. A fish is probably a good thing. I think this can probably build a fish bay. Yes, there we go. It's a port. Yeah, so I'd say orange is for kind of uh, sort of uh, life support kind of functions. Because orange is to do with uh, food. Food, and that's fish. Or you can build a water thing on it. So it's kind of, yeah, food and drink and survival stuff. So let's build a port just there, like so. Now, I assume that's the only thing. And we could build a port there as well, look. And we'll get loads of fish loads of food because that's got to be a good thing and people live there that live there people work there it gives them gives them places to work because we've got 50 people on our little on our little cliff which is fantastic all living over here but we've only got 33 workplaces so this could be very useful in the meantime we've done that what's next build a 3d printing facility okay uh, right, what's that for? At a 3D printing factory, you can use universal matter to create engines, furniture, home appliances, and electronics. Engines? Furniture, home appliances, and electronics. I get people are going to need those. Do people wake up in the morning and go, oh no, the telly's broken. We need to go out and buy a new telly. Oh, and pick up an engine whilst you're out. Okay. When a factory is built, you can click on it and specify what exactly should be produced. Uh, okay, a 3D printing factory. What size was it? large okay well let's put it over here near the port possibly i don't really know uh 3d printing 3d printing a wide range of household goods okay do that then please let's hurry things on again our power supply is plentiful still oh look oh look at that there's birds over it there's birds over the thing that's a nice touch over the um over the fishing dock there's boats there's boats. 
little teeny weeny boats are going out and doing some fishing. It's very exciting. Um, okay, there we go. So fish, a fish, more food variety has a positive effect on living conditions. Not every cliff got a pond. Build ports on orange areas near ponds for fishing. Oh yes, believe me, I have done. Hopefully that will up my prestige a little bit. I would have thought that would raise my prestige because I've now got different kinds of food. Uh, they're still working on this. Let's speed time on. There we go. Ten. A couple more, please, little flying dudes. There we go. So we've got the 3D printing factory. Oh, look. You can see. Oh, that's a bit quick. You can see inside. That's making. Uh, I don't know what that is. That looks like. I don't know what that is either. Their engines. I'll guess their engines. That looks like furniture. Because that looks like a bookshelf and little other things. That kind of looks like white goods, <laughs> like a microwave and a fridge. I don't know what that... Oh, gosh, right, okay. It's very hard to move using the keyboard. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Glass, possibly? Maybe it's glass. I don't know. Right, click on it and do some stuff. Um, gadgets. It was gadgets. Okay, so I've got no unused production points. Uh, okay... What's this? How does this work? Oh, okay. It's building appliances and furniture. My little sort of command thing here is produce furniture and engines. So do I need to take a production point out of appliances and put it in engines? Uh, maybe. <laughs> is that the right thing to do? Do they then work on that? So if I hurry time along, what are they making now? Furniture or engines? One of each. Okay. Does that just continue making furniture and engines? So it makes one of each each time. Okay, but they need to keep being supplied with matter. Ah, okay, so you have to be careful with this a little bit. Because otherwise you'd use up all your matter on making massive piles of things here. So to switch it off for now, let's just turn engine down to zero. Because we don't want to make loads of things. Imagine that'll make one last engine because it was sort of in production. Uh, oh no, and no furniture as well. Let's just switch that off for now. Switch it off, even though it's still zhuzhing about there. Right, get a reward. Thank you very much. Build a trading portal. Earn cryptocurrency by trading through the portal. Okay. To trade with the orbital station, it is necessary to build a portal. The barge will arrive to the portal once a day, in the morning. When the building is complete, you can click on it and choose which goods you want to sell or buy. Oh, it's on one of the huge tiles. Um, well, if we're making goods here... We could put it here and then sell it. Oh my goodness, what are the other things you could build? A park. A big, massive park. Okay, that looks good. A nuclear <laughs> a nuclear power plant. Slightly less glamorous than the park. But, um, well, it, I suppose it's glamorous in a different way, I guess. It's a nice industrial kind of view. An airport to make small and large aircraft. Ah, so they can fly about between the um, different cliffs. Lovely. Or the trading portal. Okay, well, I've got to build a trading portal. Let's build one of those. Oh my goodness, that is gargantuan. That is very big. <laughs> That's huge. Okay, speed time on. I imagine it's going to need a lot of materials in there. Yeah, 30. So yes, we need an awful lot of materials going on to get this. Okay, right. Well, let's come back when that's done. Okay, 28, 29, and 30. It's done. Oh, that looks tremendous. Oh, somebody's been watching Stargate then. Wow. Look at that, it's a giant Stargate. Ah, oh, the scale, actually the scale of it is quite good. Ah, yes, there was this button, wasn't there? I read about this when I was looking at the Steam page. Um, there's a button here, F2. So I think you've got you've got this view here, like this. And it, you, know, you can flick about, you can rotate it, you can go you adjust all your angles, all your X and Ys and Zs. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, all that kind of jazz. If I press F2, I believe it kind of fixes it to a sort of isometric kind of view. So I can't tilt... The camera... Oh, I can tilt the camera up and down. What's the point of this view, then? Why has it done that? I don't quite know what that view's done. It kind of looks like a macro lens view kind of thing. It looks there's a slightly different. And then you press F2, and it goes back to normal. It goes kind of back to a normal view. I believe there is a, a view where you can look down on the um, tourist mode. Switches to a first-person camera for a good scenery view. Oh, look, I'm on the... Oh, I'm on the ground! So this is what my place looks like. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm not exactly person-sized. I'm a bit bigger than a person because these are houses. Uh, and these house like 15 people. So, I mean, they'd be very cramped. If I'm if I'm person-sized, yeah, I'm sort of, what, two and a half person-sized. But there we go. That's quite nice. Oh, look. <laughs> yeah. 
disco time. <laughs> Let's all have a party out in the cold. Rock on. Okay, do I come back out? Okay, well, that was good. Uh, right, okay, I need to do the trading portal thing, don't I? Uh, yeah, okay. How does this work? Earn money by trading through the portal. Okay, how much stuff have I got? Um, do, have I got a little list of all my inventory of what I've got? I could certainly sell... I can sell some fish. Fish. Uh, I've got some engines and some furniture. I've got engines and furniture that I could sell. And fish. So, uh, engines. Now, which is sell? Uh, is it that one? No, that's buy. It's down. So, sell four engines. Sell four furniture. Because I don't need all that. Uh, I can sell some fish. Might as well sell five fish. Sell a couple of waters. And sell a bit of that. The trading platform is arriving. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> it comes through. It comes through the thing. Right, load it up then, dudes. Let's see how much money we can get from it. So we drop these in. So four four of those for... What was? What did we just put on? What's on the thing? I'm a bit annoyed that it's only four. That's rubbish. Okay, so how much do we need to load on? Four at a time. Four... Oh my goodness. Okay, well, this place needs to build some more things. Uh, what do we get? Uh, hang on a minute. What do we get most for? Uh, 21. Is that? Oh no, right. Okay, so appliances. Appliances sells very well. Let's make ourselves double appliances in that place. Let's get them making appliances and we can sell the appliances. Whoa, it goes back to the portal. Oh, oh. <laughs> you, just, you just broke the laws of time and space and physics and interdimensional travel there, my good man. You lunatic. Okay, yeah, they need to start making some of this stuff. And quick. We need some more appliances constructed, I believe. So, yeah, how many appliances have we got? I'd like a little list down somewhere where I could see how much stuff we've got. Uh, so, appliances. We now have six. Six appliances, three furniture, and four engines. Yeah, I, I thought I'd put engines on the thing. Uh, okay. Appliances. Let's sell six of those. Let's put eight of those. Let's sell those, then. Sell all those things. Trade, Trade platform comes back in. We load it up with funky things. Yeah, this is this is looking better. We're halfway of what we've got to sell. It's going well. There we go. Drop some more stuff on. Come on, come on, come on. No! Trading platform, come back. Eleven more, for goodness sake. Okay. Uh, we'll put... Let's not sell all of those, then. So this is every day we're selling these, then, I think. Let's not sell any fish anymore. Or water. We probably need that. Or that, or grain, or whatever. Sell two engines. In fact, we probably don't have any engines either, do we? I think probably the, the appliances is going to be enough. Let's just sell two appliances. I think, did it say it comes through in the morning? It arrived daily. Didn't that other thing say it arrived in the morning? I swear it said it arrived in the morning. So, um, yeah, we'll wait until it pops through again. Where is it? Hello? Trading platform. Come along now. There it is. Drop a few more things on it. Yay! There we go. Okay. And now, uh, oh no, then we don't need that. Splendid. Good. So we'll do that. It's fine. We've done that. We get 200 for that. Okay. Build an airport. Okay. That's what we saw before, wasn't it? An airport is another huge one. So for a full-scale industry, cargo drones are required. They can be produced in the airport. When the building is complete, you can click on it and specify what drones to produce. They also require engines, batteries, and matter. Okay. Well, now we know that. We can certainly do some engine work. Okay, so there we go. We can build some engines. And one of these big tiles, then, has now got to be an airport. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I'm going to build an airport behind your house. I'll build a park there or something, I promise. Uh, okay, an airport. There we go. Let's put one there. don't think there are any other big tiles. Possibly a bit bloody late now, but no, I don't think there are any. Nope, there's one bigger tile left, and that's it. Right, as ever, speed time on. Go to warp factor 9 and get on with it. Let's see if the airport's done. Oh, it needs 20. It needs 20 of those. And it's a 1,000 cryptocurrency as well. That's quite expensive. We've probably earned all that back in all of the um, little payments we've got for this. But that's quite costly. Okay, so they're halfway through. They will do that. Now, I don't know how long the tutorial goes on for. I'd like to get the tutorial kind of out the way in the first in the first video. Because this is going to be a series, because I quite like this. I want to see how they link the um, link the things together. That will be very interesting. Ah, so the trading platform just appears. And if we haven't got anything for it, because I've set it all to zero, it just pops its head in and goes, no, nothing. Okie doke. Cheerio. Bye-bye now. Uh, are we out of... 
we out of um, matter? No. It's just taking a little while for them to finish it off. Come on, finish. Right. Build some cargo drones. So what did it say? Uh, specify which drones to produce. So there's different drones to produce. A personal drone. What does that do? What does a zeppelin? What does that do? <laughs> this is very exciting. Also, there's some method of unlocking things. I haven't quite discovered that yet. There must be like a research building or something. Oh, there was a university. I wonder if it's a university. Okay, well, let's build a cargo drone then. Let's get that done. So we need that, batteries, and engines. Okay, so the little ship thing should come over. So these are cargo drones. The things that are working now that came with the storage thing are cargo drones. So they are very slowly loading these things in. The only thing we're lacking is engines. Nope, they're putting engines in. So now we can build ourselves another cargo drone. Ta-da! And I'd like one more, please, if you'd be so kind. Another cargo drone. Production 86%. Ah, now maybe it's because... Ah, we've got... Uh, we've not got enough uh, people to cope with all the jobs that we have now created. Okay, good. Objective completed. Get reward. Thank you very much. Disable airport... Enable airport. Okay, that sounds a bit crazy, but okay. Sometimes to maintain balance in the city, some buildings will have to be shut down. Disabled buildings do not consume energy and labour, which allows you to redirect people from one industry to another. To turn off the building, you can click on it with the left mouse button and then disable building or right mouse button it. Oh, crikey, right mouse button switches the building off. Okay, better be careful with that one. Not all buildings can be disabled yet. Yeah, you can't disable a house. You can't disable solar panels or anything. Right, you are. Everything is wobbling around. Is it that thing? Or is the ground just quaking? Do I need to be worried about that? Okay, let's turn that off. And then turn it on again. This is a slightly patronising little thing to do, isn't it? Yay! Well done me for right-clicking four times. Increase aesthetics. A simple way to increase prestige is to decorate the city with gardens. Some buildings, such as offices, trading portal squares, also raise the aesthetics of the city, but in a significantly lower rate. Okay, gardens then. Well, I said I'd put a nice garden here, but I'm going to save that space for now, just in case something else appears there. Uh, do they, does that do anything with aesthetics? Any of these? That's all entertainment, justice. Uh, there's no parks on one of those, on the bigger tiles. What about the long tile there? Is there a park there? Oh, yeah, there is a park there. There's a nice park. How, how about we put one there, then? Drop a park in just there. Uh, aesthetics, 40. So that'll make it uh oh, that'll make it 95. That's a bit irritating, isn't it? And then another garden just there, like that. Let's do that. That's aesthetics 20. So that should be what, another 60 or something. So that should be fine. Why is my aesthetics going down? It's going down already. Is it because there's big cranes there? Is that why? Media right. Oh, there you go. I've done it. Yay, my aesthetics is well up. Okay. Splendid. Oh, more yeah, tutorial things. Completely. Settle 35 people. On the second cliff. Right. That's very interesting there. Not far from your city, there is another cliff. There's two other cliffs, in fact. Each of them has its own climatic features and its own economy. In the future, you will be able to use a strength... I'm in the future. In the future, you'll be able to use your strengths of each city and build a trade relationship between them. So build a storage, landing pad, houses, energy supply, water extraction plants, crop, blah, 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 to create a self-sufficient second city. Oh my goodness, it wants me to go and build another city. Uh, the bridge should be built separately from both sides. After that, it connects and allows trading between cities. The prices of goods in each city depend on the availability of resources on the cliff. Deficient goods will cost more. Okay, makes sense. Universities, okay, right. So it's now saying you need to build another thing somewhere else. So we've got this little thing now. I imagine we build a storage and then we repeat the process over here, say. Or... Over here, where well, we could have lots of energy production from the wind. We could have lots of energy production, but not much else. So this place might have to trade in energy, possibly, if that's a thing we can do. I don't know if that's a thing we can do. But whatever, if we can or can't do it, I think we'll have a look at that next time out. Because, uh, yeah, I think we've done okay for this time. We've, we've settled. We've done a quite a good job here on our first cliff. We've got the majority of the things in. They've got power, water, food, entertainment, places to live, an airport fish, more importantly. I mean, we need a restaurant. We certainly need a tea room. But other than that, I think it's looking pretty good. The boats. I love the boats. There's actual boats. I just thought they'd just go, yeah, it's fine. There's a little thing there. 
they can go fishing. It's great. But no, actual boat models. That's quite exciting. And um, yeah, we've built a few of these little sort of cargo things as well. There's a weird kind of Stargate kind of thing where ships come through it and come out again. That's jolly exciting. And yes, we have done quite well. So next time out, because we shall certainly be coming back to this, a little mini series of this, I think, might settle on this one. Because that one can't be connected. That one does not connect with that one over there. So the one we've settled will then need to connect to this one over here. So we'll populate this one in very much the same vein as we've done with that one, I think. Pretty much the same as we've done with that one over there. And that'll be quite cool. Uh, that's the trading platform making everything wobble. So yeah, we'll work on this one. I like the fact that you can see down. It's like, you know, you can see around the world. So look, these things here are presumably bits of scaffold or something of what they used to build the cliffs with, I guess. It's very nice. Look, there's like lots of attention to detail. You can get quite, actually, how far away can you go? Into the wastes, if you like. Okay, I don't want to go that far. Let me back to where my things are, please. Oh no, I've lost it there. They are. <laughs> Phew. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, so we know what we're doing next time out. So hopefully you are enjoying this and you found this interesting. I've very much enjoyed it. It's been a bit of a surprise. So yes, thank you. I, it cropped up in the Discord. Also, blatant plug for the Discord. Link to Discord is in description of this video below. But yes, it cropped up in the suggestions bit in the Discord. So um, yeah, I do play the things that come up in there occasionally. You know, I've got lots of things to play. But this one popped in. I thought, do you know what? That looks very interesting indeed. So I've given it a go and we shall be coming back to it. If you have enjoyed it and found it interesting, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to find out how we get on settling our second cliff and then probably the third cliff as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Everyone loves barbecued rat. My compliments to the chef. I don't think he did much. He literally stuck a stick up the rat's bottom and put it on a fire. Shrieking weird ladies in the water. Probably not a good thing. The heroes offer a decisive solution to all the woman's riddles. <laughs> By shoving her off the bridge. Yay. Yay for the chiseled stick.